welcome to the complete story for one of the most requested stories, Final Crisis. Now, I want to clear up one thing. Everything that happened here is supposedly written out of DC history. This is all pre-New 52 and wasn't carried over. I'm also going to try my best to keep this thing organized and keep it clear. But remember one thing. This was written by Grant Morrison. So basically, we're all screwed before I even start going over this plot. All kidding aside, this plot is massively deep and complex and was supposed to clean up all of the multiverse issues. So, we went ahead and condensed it down into an understandable bite-sized chunk. So God help you if you choose to go grab the book yourself and read it, because there's a lot of extra stuff in there that we had to skim over for the sake of making this a nice complete plot. Also, if you enjoyed this story or if you enjoy the way that I'm reading it, let us know with a like if you can, we really do appreciate it. To completely understand how this story begins, you need to understand the story of the gods and their fall to Earth. Now remember, in the world of DC, there are multiverses, and each multiverse is a world within itself. Some worlds have a Russian Superman, and some have a vampire Batman, and some of them have an arcane Green Lantern. But watching over all of these worlds are the Monitors and the New Gods. There aren't multiple versions of them. They exist in all of the realities and none of them at the same time. They are removed from space and time. So the Source, which is a shared cosmic consciousness in the DC Comics universe, thought that if it ended the fourth world, which is DC's version of Olympus, and killed the New Gods, the conflict between the New Gods of Apocalypse and New Genesis would end. But in fact, it continued as the war continued up in heaven. It was finally resolved when Darkseid gained control of the anti-life equation, the very equation that removes free will from any living thing that it touches. But once Darkseid had finally won, he fell through reality with the other new gods, and they landed in the bodies of various humans on Earth Prime. Darkseid, which is a being that exists in all realities and multiverses at the same time, then begins his climb back up to power by calling himself Boss Darkseid and reuniting all of the new gods in his bid to control all of reality itself. This brings us to the current day of our heroes. Boss Darkseid has grown in power over the years, and he's been on Earth in hiding and amassing his numbers. As his power grew, he quietly removed the positive effects that the fourth world had on reality and many heroes across time began to sense that something was amiss and they tried to do everything they could to stop him. But nothing worked and things came to their peak in our current day and age. The first thing he did was fire a bullet from the future into the past, killing his own son, the new god Orin, with the one element that can kill a new god, Radeon. This starts an investigation by the remaining members of the Justice League. Hal Jordan starts off by being accused of attacking Jon Stewart, and the Alpha Lanterns, which are basically the internal affairs of the Lanterns, come to take him away. But Batman arrives just in time to see the Alpha Lanterns hauling him away, as he was coming to ask for Hal Jordan's help in investigating the death of Oron. Batman quickly figures out that this isn't the Alpha Lanterns, and that it is actually Granny Goodness, a minion of Darkseid, who is controlling the Alpha Lanterns. They quickly shut Batman up, and they bring him to their holding cells in Command D, and they remove Batman from being a problem for Darkseid and the upcoming events. Shortly after this, Superman is called away rather quickly to team up with all the Supermen of varying multiverse worlds and combat a fallen monitor. Wonder Woman becomes infected with the bacteria, and she's removed from the fight. And the Wally West Flash runs through time to find where the bullet was fired from. But what he discovers is something far more amazing than any god-killing bullet. At this time in the timeline, Barry Allen has been dead for 20 years. He died saving the multiverse back in the Crisis of Infinite Earths. But what Wally discovers is that Barry didn't die. He's right here, and he's been outrunning death at the speed of light since that event all those years ago. Wally begins to run with Barry Allen as the two of them take off into the time stream, and they're removed from being a problem for Darkseid. With the entire Justice League occupied, Darkseid's plans are succeeding. He has no superheroes to stop him, and he begins to conquer and destroy the Prime Earth. But the multiverse rests on the shoulders of this Earth, and as Darkseid begins to destroy space and time itself on Prime Earth, every Earth in the multiverse begins to feel the effects of this. Prime Earth itself is becoming a black hole in the multiverse. Darkseid then begins to spread the anti-life equation over the entire world, and slowly but surely removes the free will of every human and superhero on Earth Prime. 
The small pockets of resistance aren't enough to fight back against his forces, and eventually, he even takes over Wonder Woman's free will, and he uses her as one of his Prime soldiers. While this is going on back on Earth Prime, the Superman army is currently fighting the Fallen Monitor, whose name is Mandrake, the Dark Monitor. Superman discovers that Mandrake feeds off the universe itself, and the Monitors felt that the only way they could stop him was with an army of Supermen. While the army of Supermen did defeat this version, another Monitor took up the title, and it decided that it would begin feeding off the universe all over again. Superman decided that they're going to need a lot more power to stop this, and he sends Earth-5's Shazam off to round up every Superman in every multiverse so that they can handle this threat. While Shazam of Earth-5 was accomplishing this goal of creating an army of Supermen, Superman traveled to the future of Earth-Prime to learn how to build the Miracle Machine from Brainiac. The future knows Superman is going to need a desperate plea to save everyone back in the current timeline. Meanwhile, Wally West and Barry Allen finally stop running as they seem to have lost to death. Now, the being that Barry Allen has been outrunning is actually the Black Racer, which is basically the New God's version of death. While they did lose him, he will be back to take Barry Allen again. But Barry Allen has an idea now. He was informed of how to save everyone, and how to get rid of the Black Racer off his tail. But first, Wally wants to know where they are, because it seems that they've traveled one month into the future. And at this point in time, Darkseid has conquered the entire world. Small pockets of superheroes fight against him, but they're losing more ground every day. Barry Allen explains that he's actually been in the beyond this whole time, where space and time don't matter. The Black Racer will chase Barry until he gets him, but he wants to use the Black Racer to stop Darkseid, and he has a plan. With that, Barry Allen and Wally West take off at the speed of light again. And while this is going on, Hal Jordan is actually found innocent for attacking Jon Stewart, and he's sent back to Earth to stop Darkseid as the Guardians of Oa realize what's going on now. But there's one individual that Darkseid completely underestimated, and that's Batman. And he breaks out of the holding cell that he is in over at Command D, and he finds a powering up Darkseid. Batman then pulls out the bullet that can kill a god, because when he was investigating the crime scene, he put it in the bat belt. And he makes a once in a lifetime exception to shoot somebody, and he shoots Darkseid with the bullet mortally wounding him. If only this is where our story would end, because Darkseid will not fall to Batman, and he hits him with the Omega Sanction, seemingly killing Batman. But just then, Superman arrives back at the current time, and he sees the death and destruction that Darkseid has caused. He tears open the building that Darkseid and Batman are in, and he discovers Batman's corpse. He picks it up and he carries it out for the other superheroes to see. And then he goes back to Darkseid. Superman's had enough. He's finally ready to kill Darkseid. But he can't. Darkseid has control of every human on the planet Earth, and if you kill Darkseid, everything will end. Earth Prime is a black hole in the multiverse, destroying everything else in the multiverse right now. And Darkseid is the center of that black hole. But Superman says, You haven't stopped all of us yet, Darkseid. Just as Barry Allen runs through Darkseid, bringing the Black Racer with him, the Black Racer exclaims, I come to all, even you, and death takes Darkseid. But this still isn't the end of our tale. The multiverse is dying, and only Superman has the technology that can save us. He comes up with a device that will shrink the entire universe into a cryogenic state, and then he sets off to build the Miracle Machine to reverse all the damage that Darkseid has done to the multiverse. But what is the Miracle Machine? Well, it's a machine that can grant wishes, and the essence of Darkseid is still here, and he wants this. And with Darkseid not fully defeated yet, his very essence stays haunting over Superman as he works. But would you like to know the one thing that Darkseid absolutely hates? Music. And Superman sings at the exact frequency to shatter the essence of Darkseid. Out of breath and out of strength, Superman finally begins to finish the Miracle Machine, only to be confronted by Mandrake, the Dark Monitor. Mandrake exclaims that because Darkseid has brought the universe to the very brink of destruction, he has brought the universe to Mandrake's domain. But Superman's plan is coming to fruition, as Shazam of Earth-5 brings every Superman from every multiverse to Mandrake. Oh, and just then, Hal Jordan arrives with the entire Green Lantern Corps, and Superman turns to his completed Miracle Machine, and he makes a wish. And with that, Mandrake is defeated by all of the Supermen and all of the Green Lanterns. Everything is all better at the end of this event, and the multiverse is beginning its long process of healing. The aftermath is that our current Earth Prime is aware of the multiverse now, 
and the Monitors also decide to banish themselves to being humans, because they don't want to risk chancing another Dark Monitor being created. But before they turn into humans, they do discuss one thing. What did Superman wish for? Well, he wished for the best for everyone, and a happy ending. So what about Batman? What's his happy ending? Well, Batman appears to be dead. But he was actually sent through time to live a thousand times before coming home again. But that, my friends, is a story for another day. Thank you for joining me. I'm Comic Storian, and I'll see you guys next time when we cover another very complex story that gives me a migraine. Thanks again.